Well, hey, friends, Jennifer Allwood here. If you are new to me, I teach entrepreneurs how to use social media to make money online, all while keeping your family and your faith at utmost important. So I am glad that you're here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be breaking you down. Is that how I say that? I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to break you down. I'm going to break down for you a couple of different analytics that you need to be paying attention to on Facebook. Now, listen. Facebook's changed a lot of things in the last year or two, you guys, and where you used to be able to find insights for your business page, your Facebook business page, are now kind of separated into three different areas. And what's interesting is that um, not everybody will see any of those areas even the same, because as Facebook rolls out changes, they roll out changes to a section of people at a time, you know, to make sure they work out any bugs and such, which is super important. But I'm saying that all to say that I want you to grab a pen and a paper and I'm going to go down and talk to you about five things that you need to kind of pay attention to when it comes to all of the analytics about your Facebook page. And I'm going to tell you where I find different analytics, but it could be, it look, could look different on your end. That's what I'm trying to say. Like if you you go to your desktop, you're like, uh, I don't see that there. Well, look at some of the other places I tell you because it's it's interesting to me. Facebook used to be so simple, you guys. It used to be so simple and sometimes simple is so beautiful. And now it's just a little more complicated. Okay, so here we go. If you're trying to build a business in the online space, you're trying to sell things online. These are some of the, the things that you need to be paying attention to on your business page in no particular order, okay? But, um, but I want you to be aware of what they are because as Facebook continues rolling out different ways that we can look at analytics and now they've got Creator Studio and all the things, it sometimes it feels complicated. There's a lot of data and a lot of information and there's really only like five things that you need to keep track of, okay? All right, so I'm gonna tell you what's gonna matter most and before I do that, make sure you hit subscribe on this video so that the next time I put out another training that you get it right here. So first, I want you to go to your, desktop. And I want you to find your page, your business page. That's going to be helpful. Um, and we are going to look at likes versus followers first. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So this is kind of hidden, friends. I'm going to show you. This is kind of hidden. See, at the top of my business page, I've got Ad Center Inbox, Fan Subscriptions, Events, COVID, oh, interesting, and the More button. So you're going to click on More, and then you're going to click on the word Insights right there. Over here to the left is where you get all the insights for your page. This is where you get all sorts of detailed analytics. This is where you, um, you look at post reach, story reach, that sort of thing. So this is where you're going to find your likes versus followers. I'm going to click on the word Likes. So total likes as of today, 366,875. This is also though where you can see your followers. I have 388,652, so a difference of about 20,000. If you watched my training last week, which was the difference of likes versus followers, um, you'll know that last week there was only about 1,000 difference in my likes and my followers. And this week it's a $20,000 difference, $20,000. <laughs> Maybe I'm being prophetic. 20,000 follower difference. Isn't that interesting? Facebook, we definitely think is pushing people towards following and not liking a page. But here is where you find those, the likes and the followers on your insights on the desktop. Okay. So obviously the more people who like and follow your page, hopefully also the more sales that you're able to make. Second thing you really need to keep track of is the reach on your page. Now for reach, <laughs> I can't see reach oddly enough on my desktop. Isn't that crazy? One of you is inevitably going to send me an Instagram DM. And you're going to be like, girl, go look here. Girl, I promise you I've looked everywhere. And so right now the reach is hidden on my desktop. So what I have to do is go into my Facebook pages manager app on my phone. And then down at the bottom of your phone, right in the middle is this little thing that looks like um, maybe a lightning bolt, maybe something out of biology class. Um, and so if you click on that, you can see the reach on your page. Now, I'm going to give you a real life example of what happens when you're not posting good content consistently. We recently took nine days off of social media that I wasn't posting. And my reach went on my page from over a million each month to 326,000 per month. That's what happens. We dipped two thirds the way down when we did not show up 
for eight or nine days consistently every day. So my post reach is way down. And so you want to not only look at the overall number, but you want to see, is it down since last week? Is it up since last week? So there's a little arrow above it that'll tell you if you are really up or down. And then you can also click on the words post reach and you can go in and see which posts are doing the best. I have a post on my Facebook page is doing great right now where I talk about how I um, didn't gain the COVID-19 uh, specifically, but I did gain the COVID-15. And it's it's a good post that engaged with 130,000 people. So I love that that's my most engaging post right now. Also, what you want to look at here on your Pages Manager app on your phone is the post engagement. So it's the second number in, it's green on my phone, and it says my post engagement is 154,000, which for me is down 72,000, simply because, again, I wasn't posting um, for a hot minute. And so engagement, you always want that going up. Reach, you always want that going up. If you're not sure what engagement is, engagement are the people that are liking your post, commenting on your post, and sharing your post. That's how Facebook... Um, quantifies or qualifies, whatever the word is, your reach. So you want people liking, commenting, and sharing. By the way, did you know if you ask them to like, comment, or share that those are like trip words that Facebook doesn't like and it's going to put it in front of less people? So don't ever say, will you share this post? Just, just don't. Just don't do that. You can ask them to tag a friend. You can ask them to, you know... Um, send this to someone who might need it, but don't, don't ask to share. Those are words that Facebook just doesn't love. So, um, video views. Okay. So video views, this is a whole nother beast. Did you know there's a whole new thing called creators studio? So you literally go to creator studio inside the business.facebook.com. Um, I just, I wish they'd keep it simple, but here's what my creator studio looks like. And this is a good way for you to keep track of everything that's happening on video. Because Facebook is really pushing video, in particular live video, um, they, they also are making sure that they've got a ton of analytics here. So you go to Creator Studio, and this is where you get your insights on all the videos. This is where you get minutes watched. This is where you can also see if you are doing ads, how much of those watches were organic that you just got on your own by people sharing it and by it showing up in the feed or how many of that was paid for. So it's good if you are somebody who is doing videos to really understand what your people, how they're performing, what they're watching, how long are they staying? Are they only sticking around for the first three seconds? Well, wh why is that? Maybe it's because at the very beginning you're saying, hey guys, we're going to wait till some people jump on. Like that is such a turnoff, such a turnoff, especially for your replay viewers. So pay attention here in Creator Studio to everything from um, the video insights. Those are super duper helpful. Last thing I want to talk to you about is some, uh, this is a way that Facebook determines, you know, how well your page health is, how, how well you're doing it. It's messenger responsiveness. I am back to my business page. See how over here in the column, way down at the bottom, I have in-stream ads, people, and messages. I'm going to go to messages and you can see my responsiveness right here in the middle. And of course, our responsiveness is not great right now because as I told you, I was off of social media for a little bit. But the faster your response time, the better like rating you get right here. They would really like for your response time to be under an hour. And look at ours, not under an hour, not even, not even close. But I just want to let you know, this is stuff that Facebook like looks at and they measure things by. And they, this is one of the ways they can tell if your page is healthy. Um, this is the, one of the ways that you get um, Facebook to just, you kind of get in their graces by taking care of all of those analytics. So hopefully that was really helpful. So if you learned something new today, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you don't already, just hit the subscribe button. Um, we put a video out like this every week, and I try to share with you my social media knowledge. Um, and uh, there is an IQ quiz we have. You know what? Speaking of social media challenge or social media knowledge, I have a coaching group where I coach thousands of entrepreneurs every month on how to use social media. It's always interesting to me that there's a wide variety of people who really know a lot about how social media works and there's people that don't. And then there's so many people right in the middle. So we've got this free fun little quiz. If you want to go take it at jenniferallwood.com slash IQ quiz, it literally gives you your like social media IQ. That's why it's called the IQ quiz. So it's going to kind of give you a rating of where you fall in terms of understanding how social media works, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest in particular. So go grab that. It's at jenniferallwood.com slash IQ quiz. And appreciate you guys until next week. Be blessed. Bye-bye.